heading to Good Medicine Camp. It's going to be really hot and probably really stormy. But that's all right. I always like to have adventures. You see the fence lizard? What? The fence lizard. Well, it looks like, uh, luckily, we've set up most of the camp just in time because the storms are coming. Feels good though, it's pulling it down because it's been wicked hot today. Swamp Camper made this massive tarp here. He's going to set up a uh, hammock in here later on, right? Yeah. Cool. Man, that cool breeze feels good though. It sure does. Campers being resourceful here, taking advantage of the rain to wash the pants. Good thinking. Well, in the immortal words of uh, Bill Murray, I did say I don't think the heavy stuff will be coming down for quite a while, but I guess I was wrong, huh? <laughs> or Henry David Thoreau. There's never bad weather. Just different kinds of weather. Yes. Word to that. Nah. Swamp Camper just came up with this uh, great idea that we probably forget about. When you're camping and if you have a tarp system like this, collect all that rainwater right there for hiking and stuff like that. If we had some empty water bottles, we'd be all set with some fresh water, but you know, we're pretty much all set because we're only a mile and a half to the cars, but. Uh, but if you're using tarps and things like that out in the wilderness and it's raining, take advantage of a uh, runoff like that to fill up your bottles. Swamp Camper is like a spider. He has to constantly mess and fix his uh, tarp. Alright, it's beautiful again. Rain's gone, it's nice and cool. Swamp Camper, you're satisfied with your uh, tarp now, right? Yes. Yes, I All think right. it's it's sufficient to keep us dry. Sounds good. I would like it actually a little higher though. Well, you can't have everything. Yes, I can. It, it actually makes you humid on the inside, but if you have something over it, you're going to remain a lot drier. Not 100% drier, but you'll be drier. The tarps work good. This one's a heavy one. Well, I'm glad we had this rainstorm because it's yeah, really cooled things it out a lot. It everything out. It's, it smells so nice. Probably like 20 degrees cooler too. Yeah, it feels like it. It's not from stable. 95 to 75. It's not humid outside, it just feels perfect. Rain is good. Nice and quiet out here too. Not a sound. A couple crickets. You can almost hear the sun going down. Not really, but when we got the camp the campsite, some North American knuckleheads left this cooler here, filled with uh, rotting flesh from uh, cold cuts and cheese and and liquids, and it was crawling with ants. And I just couldn't leave it there at the campsite. And it was really heavy too because it was a bunch of uh, unopened bottles of Gatorade and stuff. So I brought it back here to the trailhead to take home and throw it in the trash when we leave. But people are just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Ah, North American knuckleheads. No respect for nature.
See anything interesting? Although, you can see this, the mist mm -hmm. and the moisture settling down up in the sky, just slowly, little by little. So, you'll be underneath something, you'll be underneath your tent, I'll be underneath that. Spider. Spiders! Well, it looks like some storms are rolling in. Well, really hard rain coming down. There's a mild leak in the tent too, which isn't too pleasant. So, hopefully this rain won't last too long and I don't get too wet. We'll see. Might float away. I can literally feel like a river of water flowing underneath this tent right now. Thankfully so far um, it's holding up, it's not leaking, but it's so weird to feel this flow of water. I'm sitting on this flow of water going underneath my tent. Pretty great. Yeah, now I know how Noah feels, huh? <laughs> Crazy. All right, heading out. Hopefully this Honda can make it through all the flooded roads. I don't want to get towed. Um, Swamp Camper's got his Jeep. He's going to lead the way. So hopefully everything will be nice. I can get home. It was a crazy uh, rainy trip, but it's better than being in the city. I made it through the worst of the floods, <laughs> flooded roads so far. I think I might make it. There's one more sketchy place to go through. One thing I got to say is this tiny little Honda with like five inches clearance on the bottom of the car has gotten me through some really sketchy back roads. I've never had any problem knock on wood. So, so I lucked out again. So that's good. Time to head home. We, we cut the uh, trip short. It's supposed to be a two-dayer, but the rain got so bad and there's more rain scheduled for today. So we decided, you know what, let's just uh, head home. I had to take a lot of trash. Some knuckleheads left at the campsite, so that took a long time to lug that mile and a half to the car so the North American knucklehead strike again I don't know why people can't just take the trash they bring in with them when they go camping people are just unbelievable but it was a day in the woods and that's always good and that's always good medicine